They dream of a country that will have its forest cover intact in 10 years. They dream of sustainable water towers and clean water that will gush downstream for everyone's use. It is the dream of Daniel Deng, Emmanuel Mutuku and Kevin Masharia all over Lions High School. The power of three came up with a paper charcoal briquette, an alternative source of fuel that can be used in place of charcoal. I come from South Sudan where, uh, where by charcoal and other fuel for domestic uses are, are hard to find and what, what most people use is firewood and Using firewood means cutting trees, and cutting trees definitely means um, destroy, destroying our natural environment. There is destruction of these uh, water towers, and uh, it's our goal as a nation that uh, years to come, even five to ten years to come, we need to have like a sustainable water tower. The students went further and passed on this knowledge to a group of women in Mlolongo, Machakos County. But the moment Whenever one comes up with an idea they believe will change the lifestyle of many, they quickly calculate the profits they can make from that idea. But it is not so for these students. The briquette project is something that we're giving back to the community. It's not necessarily a business that we set up that is primarily based on earning income. So how different is the paper briquette from the others that are in the market? There are others that go by using sugar cane waste. There are others that go by using cow dung as they go using sawdust. Cow dung isn't everywhere. Not everybody owns cows. And transferring cow dung from one place to another is a hefty job. We're using something that is easily available to a majority of the people. It's not everywhere that you can get a timber yard to get sawdust. It's not everywhere that you, you can get large amounts of sugarcane waste to produce this. Making the paper charcoal briquette is easy. You need paper, water and ash. Step one, you cut the paper into small pieces. Then soak them in water for around 30 minutes. You then add ash and make balls out of the mixture. You can make different shapes if you like. You then let the balls dry for two days before you start using them as charcoal. You can recycle the ash into making more charcoal. At the school we have uh, a place we call Leap Hub, where it is an innovation center. Students can sit there and come out with any uh, creative idea and they can also research and see what other people are doing. Uh, it is equipped with laptops and uh, internet connection. Is education all about reading, preparing for exams, getting ranked and knowing where you fall in a classroom? Well, teachers at Alliance High School have incorporated innovation as part of the learning process. And as demonstrated by this power of three, we can only hope that their product will certainly change the future of Kenya. Sharon Baranga, NTV, at Alliance High School in the county of Kiambu.